In today's video, learn what kind of typefaces that you should be using for your logo type and how to match certain styles of logo to the correct type choice. So today's video is slightly subjective, but a lot of the content is based around psychological research studies and psychology within design and graphic design. So here we have the first logo design that we're going to take a look at. And when choosing fonts, it's important to really deconstruct the logo itself and understand what the style is trying to communicate. So with this example here, I can see straight lines are used and they're quite thick actually as well. This indicates a sense of strength and a robust nature. It's quite a static and firm design that is also pretty simplistic in nature adding a sense of superiority and cleanliness. The logo mark here is independent and strong and also minimal, so the typeface needs to reflect just that. There will be many different typefaces that will do the job here, but my pick for this demonstration is good old Gil Sans. Sans serif fonts are clean, modern and engaging. They're used by brands who want to demonstrate a straightforward, simple and no-nonsense attitude. When it comes to typography and logo design, sans serif solutions indicate a sense of honesty and sensibility. There is no decorative elements distracting the eye or clouding the message. Gil Sans provides an uppercase selection of characters that complement the logo, in my opinion. It does this with simplicity and strength, but it's nothing too impacting. Now as you can see on the final design, I feel everything works well together using Gil Sans. And with the introduction of nice and wide kerning, I feel the job has been done correctly. The next logo is a stark contrast to the previous one, and that is because there are no straight lines used. The logo actually utilizes organic shapes. When a circle is used in logo design, this means it can roll freely representing the infinite and unity of oneness. They represent togetherness and it also can refer to femininity and friendship. Organic shapes often are linked to pleasure, comfort, interest and friendship. This logo comes across as less serious than the first one and it's somewhat playful but not to the extent of being childish. So for the font choice this time around, I went for Aileron. Now Aileron is a clean and simple font, and I feel it does complement the logo design, when used in lowercase however. My logic here was that lowercase is informal and more friendly as opposed to uppercase lettering. Yet the typeface matches the thick line nature of the logo that is quite bold. So it's friendly, yet professional. If you take a font that is less professional and maybe too playful, as you can see on screen now, things don't jive and work so well together. So logo designs that utilize decorative design assets often suggest class, sophistication and heritage. This kind of style of logo affirms that the company or entity is firmly established and grounded within the industry. They are often very serious and superior kind of logos, and they do not joke around. So when looking at a logo of this nature, you should really gauge what the design is trying to say, what voice would it have? I feel that this one portrays excellence, superiority and heritage, as well as class and sophistication. And so of course, I want to translate that through the logo type. That's why I've chosen to go with Times New Roman for this design. And yes, I know some people feel it's overused, but I think that's not an excuse to discard this font, especially as it looks so neat and perfect for this logo. Serif fonts promote the feelings of class and heritage, making them ideal when you want to create a company that feels established. Due to their classical nature, serif fonts carry feelings of trust and respectability, making them perfect for brand identities that want to revolve around authority and grandeur. As you can see, if we're using something more bold and simplistic, things do not work out that well, and the typeface comes across as too impacting and taking away the sophistication of the logo as a whole. 
Now for the final part in today's video, I'm going to quickly take you through three steps for choosing the right font for your logo designs. Before you can begin browsing through font options, you need to make sure that you fully understand the message and identity of the brand or the client. So ask yourself, what do you want the customers who are going to view the design to think and feel when they're looking at the logo itself? What thoughts do you want to elicit with nothing more than a brand name and a logo mark? Do you want to portray class? Maybe you want to suggest trust? Or maybe you want to get across a playful nature? These are all things that you need to think about. If you want to choose and create the perfect logo, then you need to thoroughly understand your customers and their preferences in terms of shape, style and colour. One of the easiest ways to make sure that you're doing this is to have the right impression on the right audience. So look at the existing customers of that brand and try creating a user persona. Essentially, write down the traits, the habits and the demographics of each target market. And from there, you should begin to tailor the logo design style and ultimately the typeface. So lastly, you're going to want to look into the competition within the specific industry sector. See what other brands are doing and see where you can find an edge or a niche within that market. And that is without straying away too far from the ideologies and aspects of the target market. You don't want to copy, but you also don't want to be too different from the other entities in the industry. So there was a rundown of how to match certain fonts to a logo and also what kind of fonts work in certain situations. Let me know what you thought of today's video down in the comment section below. And if you want to keep boosting your awareness as a graphic designer, subscribe to my channel for weekly graphic design content. Like and share my videos on social media. And until next time, guys, design your future today. Peace.